still alive. still in Tirana which is the capital city of Albania so if you would have seen our previous vlog we kind of did a bit more of an explore in the city center kind of like what you can do in a day all that kind of stuff um, but today we're going a little bit further so we are going to take the see if I can pronounce it the Daj T Daj T Express I don't know um to the Dajti Mountain I think it is um, so yeah we're gonna get a cable car up to the top it's apparently the longest cable car ride in southern Europe I believe if you've seen one of our previous vlogs I think it was a few vlogs ago um, I'll leave a card I think it's up here I'll leave a card up for you we did do this in Sarajevo I think with the one today so with that one we looked and explored the abandoned bobsled track that was left over from the 84 winter olympics but for i think this one i don't know if there's a whole lot to actually do up the top of the mountain um other than like there being a hotel and a restaurant and i think some walking trails so we're gonna go find those walking trails and do a little bit of an explore we've packed some snacks so the plan is that we're going to have a picnic so we've got some goodies we went out and got them yesterday and yeah, we really enjoy cable cars. We love the view that you get from them. I hope so. Just looking outside, it is a little bit cloudy and a little windy, but hopefully we'll get some sort of view. I'll just show you what it looks like from outside. So I don't know if you can see. Oop. If you can see, it's kind of sunny, kind of cloudy. This is our street view, by the way. Um, there's a bakery down there, which is pretty good. And then that's the way we go to like exit. It's very small streets, very cute. So yeah, we're gonna go, we're getting ready. Brody is just finishing now. We've packed the bags already and yeah, we'll bring you along. We'll show you kind of like what we get up to when we go up there. The sites, um, <laughs> we're walking. So you can get a bus or a taxi to the cable car but we figured we would walk it is an hour long walk from where we are so we'll see how we go we did pack some water but we might have to buy some more it's not a hot day today but it's still quite warm um it's 20 degrees today which is pretty warm considering we have been experiencing in the last few months negative degrees like we've had a white christmas so <laughs> it's still yeah still a little bit of warm for us but we will see how we go we're just about to go and make that really long walk so we've got some water we've got our schnicks a couple more some cold meats we'll put the portable charger in because no one's going to need that uh, tripod my camera in there I think that might be it After we get the cable car, <laughs> we are not walking all the way up. Don't you just hate when Google Maps doesn't tell you about the hills? <sighs> so long. Okay, hey on. Still alive, and whew, it's a tough walk. How long have we been walking for? Uh, about an hour. About an hour, maybe, maybe a little less, because we kind of walk fast. But 
yeah, so if you're not a big fan of walking, just get the bus or a taxi. But, uh, you know, you see some cool sights if you do walk, so it's a little bit of a bonus. Kind of the views. Not bad. Unfortunately, the thingies are a little scratchy, the windows, but uh, that's the view. And that's the way that we're going. I don't know if I've got that on screen. Yes, I do. We're already so far away. I know. It took us forever to walk up. <laughs> and so it's going to take a quarter of the time to go most of the way. Yeah. You can hear the wind. You can. So this cable seems to be a little bit busier than the last one that we went to. Um, most of the carts seem to be quite full, so I think this is somewhat of an activity that people... Tourist attraction. Yeah, I think it's one of their like main tourist attractions here, which like you can kind of... I don't know, we haven't been to the top yet, but cable cars are always fun to ride. Cable cars are cool. Yeah, and even Brody, who's a scaredy cat of heights. <laughs> Even he enjoys a cable card or two. Yeah. It's a shame that we didn't do the one in Singapore. But Maybe we didn't we'll go to Sentosa. To go back. We'll go back to Singapore and we'll go across to Sentosa. Yeah. There but are probably a couple that we missed on the way, but that gives us gives us an excuse to go back. Yeah, I think there's one in Penang as well. <laughs> yeah, we've missed a couple, but we are catching up on them yeah. by doing all the ones in the Balkans. So it cost us six euros each for return. Yeah. So um, we didn't have enough cash, so normally it's uh, 800 lek, um, which I think is about $10.50 Australian, mm -hmm. um, or you can pay in Euro and it's 6 Euro, yeah. which I think actually came out a little cheaper than paying in lek for us because like, of conversion, conversion rates. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so that was good. Yeah, so check your money before you come because apparently we spent all of ours yesterday and we didn't check so luckily they do accept euros here because they didn't have an atm machine and we would not have wanted to walk mm, <laughs> to find now. one yeah while we're here do you have any fun facts i've got a couple um oh. so albania is actually a muslim majority country but because religion is quite new because during the communist um during the like dictatorship um it wasn't actually allowed so you weren't allowed to be religious so only recently has it kind of adopted more religion into the country um so it's muslim majority but it's fairly uh fairly tolerant fairly progressive um we uh, living just down the road from a mosque um, but like a lot of the women won't wear headscarves um, or like the full or the full um, full dress um, and in general it's pretty accepting of um, religions and that kind of thing because it's not deeply rooted in the history because there was a lot of uh, there was religious like oppression so yeah that that's interesting and prior to the fall of the regime i think it was 1992 i think he died in 1985 i think it was 1991 mm. that the regime fell um albania was pretty much closed off to the rest of the world so it was kind of uh, people describe it as during that time it was North Korea before North Korea even kind of was like what it is now. So yeah, that's pretty interesting. We're getting a Ooh, little bit higher. sharper um, incline now up the side of the mountain. Well, up we go. <laughs> Don't you know if I work for gunshots? <laughs> I don't know. It have to be fireworks. This one's too fast to be gunshots. We're like going over all the farms. Oh, there's a lot of like demolished buildings. Mm -hmm. But yeah, we're going over all the farms. So you're seeing all like the horses and the chickens and 
and can hear the rest. Can hear the rest of the bloody loud. <laughs> and then, yeah, whatever that is, up in the distance. I hope. Yeah, we play a game where whenever we go travelling, <laughs> is it fireworks or, or gun are they gunshots? Because <laughs> we don't, we don't. I don't actually know what gunshots sound like in real life. Uh, I, I couldn't. Re I probably couldn't recognise. No, because as Australians, we luckily have relatively strict gun laws and we've never actually really been in contact with guns mm. I, like I've never seen one it's not it's not a big part of our culture no so whenever we hear <laughs> anything that remotely sounds like it we're not sure <laughs> we're not sure Enjoying the lunch? With the lunch. Mm-hmm. We do have lunch. Yeah. Put that. Put it in the bag. You started out to face it. My heart went off like crazy. You pressed your arms on my head. We fell into my small bed. You started out to face it. My heart went off like crazy. I felt my breath is taken. We were about to make it. We were about to make it. up here I know especially in the summertime there's lots of activities that you can do so there's like horse riding paragliding mountain bike riding mountain climbing but archery, shooting. archery um, trekking all of that but I think most of the time you either need a guide or something or like it planned in advance because uh, trails aren't marked here um, so when you want to hike, they yeah they say you need a guide. But uh, I think we're gonna do this main trail. Yeah, it's like 1.5 k's. Um, and then we'll do that and probably come back, and that'll be our adventure. But uh, we we walked up to the military zone. And we decided against that. <laughs> yeah, we didn't know it was a military zone first. No, but we saw the sign, and so we uh, turned around. And now we're gonna go this way in into the woods. Will it work for you? Is it sticky enough for you? It'll work until the time goes on. It better work. <laughs> so Brody's actually been watching um what's his name? The guy on YouTube, the Scottish one. Whatever that was. Um, <laughs> what are we? Anyway, and basically his channel is about him and he's kind of surviving Scotland like they did back in like the 1800s um, as a true Highlander. And Brody's very inspired <laughs> that he's found himself a stick. choice do we take extra walking paths and add a little bit of time do you want to go up to the mountain like it could be cool what's the time uh, oh shit hang on it is ten, 20, quarter to two quarter to two so we could do that we could do that should we do that I think that'd be fun up to the mountain or that way up to up to the mountain up to the mountain what do you reckon are we fit enough to do that mm. Might be. Yeah. We've got water. It's fine. We've got water and food. Yeah. If we get lost. <laughs> it's just Albanian. Exactly. Brady, Brady knows enough about mushrooms now. I know. That, um. I know enough to know that it's not mushroom season anymore. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> so, we can see why you need a guide. Um, may have taken a slight detour. We're back, back on track, but uh, 
yes, it's very easy to uh, go a different way. lunch spot. This is our view. Pretty good view. Hoping it stays dry. Should do. I have felt a couple of droppies but could just be my sweat. Who knows? Yeah I was gonna say I can't tell. Bye Brady. Off to look at the mushrooms. <laughs> Are they mushrooms? Do you? Yeah. Cool. Awesome. What is he doing? Photographer man. Get them photos. Had to turn back. It started to rain. Yeah, I don't know if you can see any rain spots, but we figured we don't really want to be walking downhill in the dirt while it's raining in case it gets a bit heavier, which it kind of has. So hopefully we make it back to the building in time. If not, we'll get back to the abandoned one pretty soon. But we will hopefully not get absolutely soaked. So we're back, back at the cable car. It was a bit of a quick trip, but we might come back. That's it, back down the hill on the mountain. Started raining a little heavily, so we figured we would leave it at that. Um, down before we get caught out. Exactly. So yeah, as I said before, not a lot to do if you're not hiking. If you're not hiking or if you're not prepared, like if you don't have an activity plan like the horse riding or the yeah. para gliding or anything like that, then like there's the restaurant and the hotel. Admittedly though, this is the end of March, so we're yeah. only just getting into like spring exactly just winter. So but, um, it's probably busier in summer. Oh yeah, totally. Oh, that's so steep. Oh, Take I'll away. show you. That's how steep it is. Hang on, let's go down here. Can you see that? That's like, we didn't really recognize it when we came up. So I'm gonna leave the video here. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. Uh, please give this video a big thumbs up and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye. So let me sing for you Like the birds in the mountains do Like a child who cries for you Cries for you So let me sing for you About the streets and the avenues